Hey guys, Sim4J here and welcome back to the Majefries Network here on OpenTTD. Big project is about to get underway. So last episode I introduced the Realism Initiative, uh, the RI. Sounds a bit like the Avengers Initiative but I promise you it's not as cool as that. Um, the Realism Initiative is basically designed to make sure that all speed limits, station approaches and everything like that are built to realistic standards. Because of that, there is lots of rebuilding work that does need to be done. Most importantly is the section that you can see me working on here. I'm actually trying to do this whilst talking at the same time. This is live, by the way, look. Live, left, right, up, down, all that kind of thing. Uh, assuming I sync the audio properly, otherwise it won't look live at all. This is um, me just moving the HLR over a tile. You'll see why in just a second. Gotta wait for this little train to get out of the way. Come on. Game's going slow. It's got lots of updates that it needs to do, which doesn't help things. So one thing about that departure board is it's fantastic. It's really, really good. I like it. But it's another calculation that the game has to make behind the scenes. Um, which is why I upped it to 50 ticks. I'll probably up it a little bit more in the future, to be honest. Um, just to, to make it a little bit easier to uh, to actually work with. But I like it. It's a really awesome feature. Really, really happy with it. It's another one of those things um, where you, you don't realize that you need it until you've got it. And then you don't want to get rid of it. It's definitely one of those kinds of features. So I'm, uh, I'm really liking all of the new features, actually. Not just that one, but all of them. All of them are really, really fun to play with. Right should be done in just a second and then we can get going. I might also do the high speed uh, stuff in this episode as well. It wasn't part of the original plan but um, it might be worth doing after all. What station was that? I can't remember. Uh, station names. Brindhatton West. Okie dokie. We'll just uh, pop that up like so and it should, there we go, automatically take the name. We do it like that, and then this is like this, and like this. And then bridge, like that, bridge, like that. Uh, signal there and there, why not? Signal there and there. We'll stick another one whoops, there, which means I'll take this one away and I'll also redo this one because I did put it in the wrong place. Signal there and there and then re-signal this section like so. Done. Get rid of that. This is all important for something that's going to happen in the second bit of this episode. Well, I mean, technically, second bit. I say second bit. It's, it's going to happen now. Uh, that is three, isn't it? Yes, good. That's now raised up as well, which is also very nice. And it means we've got more room to work on the next bit of the episode, as I said. So, the Realism Initiative, as I said, it involves using speed limits, it involves using waypoints, and it involves rebuilding the approaches to all of the main stations, uh, not just in Guard City, but across the entire network. So, with that in mind, hopefully I've given myself enough room to do this, actually. If I do that to... Uh, Alright, we might have a problem. Might have to do dual power along this section. Which is going to really bug me. So that one, that one, and that one can be normal. And then, <coughs> excuse me, if that comes down like that, this will then go like that. And I should have enough room to build the new bridge in like this. Uh, this waypoint's in the way. Well, they're, they're getting moved anyway. In fact, all of the waypoints and all of the approaches here can pretty much be gotten rid of. So I can now do that viaduct. Okay. And that gives you a rough idea as to the shape of the new approach tracks to GSG. Get rid of all of those, all of those. 
this then gets lifted up like so and then it's bosh 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 um, and then that's gotten rid of that's gotten rid of this then extends all the way over here like so now these two tracks that I'm building now uh, they might need to come out a little bit further actually maybe up to here all of this land uh, is going to be reclaimed from the lake so I think if I build that as far as that and that as far as that that should make my life a little bit easier uh, get rid of that signal and then where are we like this like this so you come out to there I think and you come out to there and then if that comes along like that and like this eventually this will go into a time lapse by the way I'm not going to do the whole thing live because it's going to take a long time uh, and this is the first of many projects of this type that we'll be getting into so um, there will definitely be lots of time lapses involved in all of this right so that's kind of the easy bit out of the way now it comes to the tricky bit so we're going to have a series of four bridges all viaducts they're going to cross over like this uh, that one doesn't work because there's waypoints in the way get rid of those there we go uh, I'm probably going to have to redo a lot of the signalling particularly around the main stations in Guard City all the old ones because um, well basically all of the uh, the signals here are waypoint dependent whereas they shouldn't be after this I hope because that would be very poor designing if they are uh, I'm also going to get rid of that 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 and those also rebuild this um, whoops move it over one like that and then um, in fact the tunnel is going to be there so this can all be leveled out again you can be the tunnel like so like so up like that and then along like that actually maybe move it further over to there uh, which then means like this a longer tunnel do this whoops do this like that and like that connect that up again uh, return that to its signalled status. Okay, uh, electrify this. Or choose the electrified option. And then uh, these will all come down like so. I think there'll be a series of crossovers here. They won't last the full uh, track width, I suppose is the uh, the correct expression. There we go. And then one, two, three, four. Um, and then this will be another block. I think that works. I think that works. We'll have to uh, to find out. And then on this side, obviously they're all going to be like that. And there's going to be signals there. Basically, drag all these over to the right over there like that. Um, Let's just check. So if I do that, uh, no, wait, do that, that, and then that, that, and then we can start doing other crossovers. So we can have one there like that, one there like that, uh, one there like that, one there like that, let's say, one like that, and then another one like that. So it's kind of, there's more criss crossing options. Um, what you can't do is cross from this line here right over to this line here. It's not really been designed with that in mind. That's fine though. I'm, I'm quite happy with with that as a uh, as a system. 
I think. I mean, they, it could end up being incredibly problematic, but uh, at this very moment in time, I'm okay with it. And then we'll do this, 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 and this. And then somewhere over here, not like that. Somewhere over here, we'll have another set of signals and crossovers and stuff. Uh, if I get rid of all of this, all of this, this bit here, uh, that like so and then in this gap here will be all the uh, express lines going into the platforms here now at this point I feel very tempted to actually go into the time lapse early or earlier than I was originally planning mainly because I I know just by looking at this I know how difficult this is this whole project is going to be um, and I kind of want to avoid being live on camera whilst I'm uh, shouting and swearing at, at it. So if I pull these off again like that, uh, this is going to go up to here, like so. And then this one is going to come to here like that, and then across like this, and then this one will probably be another line, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just do that with it. Yeah, I mean, that works. And then we can have that as a signal, and then uh, like that, and like that. That works quite nicely. I quite like that. And then this will be an inroad only, and then this one here can be an in or an out. I think it will mostly be an out though, because you can't actually get to it from the inline. So that works quite well, and then we'll do that. Okay, and then this here, release slow, becomes the waypoint where it hits. Uh, I think it's 25 miles an hour and then it remains 25 all the way in like so over here signal like that uh, we do now have extra room to do this and then we get an extra track here uh, the problem with that actually maybe not a problem I don't think there is a problem with that at all now I've said it that will be what the, uh, the line looks like and then that comes across like that, that comes across like that, that comes across like that, like that and like that and then all of these join up and there you go. So this, this is a shorter track here, this one um, but I could rectify that by doing this so it's a little bit longer because that is three, four five so yeah it's definitely shorter most definitely shorter and then these two bits here uh, I'll rebuild the bridges across do it now so that I don't forget uh, can I just build it? I think I'll just build them as modern viaducts now I mean we're kind of at that age where all new bridges there's no point making them look like old bridges because it's very obvious that they're new so just make them look new and then that goes across like that and then across like that across like that there we go very nice all right so I think we're we're about ready to go into that time lapse now um I say this is the easy bit oh that's not the right bridge at all viaduct there we go this is the easy bit doing this section it's going to get a lot trickier in a minute when we're um, rebuilding the express ones, particularly the express ones on the West Winds line, because I mean there's all these diagonals and stuff, and it's a question of where does the uh, let me just hide that again quickly. Where does the crossovers actually start? Because in here, for example, with the the third rail lines here and the freight terminal, it's going to have to be over here somewhere. Granted, there are less trains that come in and out of this section, so it won't be as bad. Uh, and I think I've left myself enough space to do it here. The other big issue, of course, with this is there's a huge block here. Uh, so even with lots of trains running in and out, that is a big block between signals. And that could also end up being a problem. Hence the fifth line here. Let's try and combat that. It could end up being fine. It could end up being fine. Um, and I'm also tempted to add a fifth line here on this side as well 
so it's like five lines going to four come back out into five again but I want to see how I build the express bit here first uh, in case we do end up needing the additional space but um, the music should have started by now I don't know whether it's going to be a selection of the new music that I've been using or the old music uh, as I say when I do my editing um, I, I like to mix things up a little bit to the point where I even surprise myself at times so um, hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapse we're doing each line individually I think you can work that out from the title anyway because this title says specifically Great Northern uh, and with this Great Northern we're only going up as far as Beffing Way which is the last major station before it splits off down towards Nut Hill and, and things like that um, and as for the spreadsheets on the episode plan it says to create the speed limit spreadsheet with this episode but I think I might do that sort of between episodes off camera um, like I say, you guys won't be able to see the spreadsheet at this moment anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But if people want me to make it public in the future, then uh, as I say, I'm happy to do that. But yeah, I think we're ready to start the time lapse. So the music, as I say, should have already kicked in. Uh, everything else, pretty much ready to go. Just got to make sure that this is how it should be. There we go. That should now be properly electrified bit of a weird situation because of the uh, the HLR right there. But yeah, music started, time lapse begins. Thank you very much guys for watching. I won't be back at the end of the episode so I will be seeing you again I don't actually know what day this will be going out. If I get it recorded and edited and stuff it should be on Friday so in that case I will see you guys on Monday. But whenever it is, until then, I will see you soon.